Hey, what's going on YouTubers? Here is a video I have not done in a while. This will be a pickup video. I don't have a whole lot of stuff to show, but I'll just get right into it here and show you guys some of the Blu-rays that I picked up over the last few weeks. I did get a vinyl soundtrack, and I did get one DVD, but the first one I got is from Indicator Powerhouse, and this is Charles Bronson's The Stone Killer, a Michael Winter film. And I actually was sent two of these by Indicator. Um, I did not order these, and I contacted them and asked them why they sent me two. And they said they sent these to me by mistake instead of sending me the Sinbad box set, which they're going to be sending that out. <laughs> I still didn't get that. But I did get two copies here of the Stone Killer, so be on the lookout for my... 1,500 subscriber contest. I will be giving one of these away. But let's crack into one of these and see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so here is the Stone Killer from Powerhouse Indicator. I do have the Twilight Time release of this, but I am glad to pick this one up too. This one seems like it's a little bit better as far as uh, it's a thicker edition and this is a limited dual format special edition special features here are you get the high def remaster original mono audio audio commentary by journalist and critic nick pinkerton you get mr blonde paul coslow on the stone killer from 2017 it is a 17 minute featurette the colorful character actor discusses his work on the film and his relationship with charles bronson the John Player Lecture with Michael Winner, 1970, 64 minutes long. Archival audio recording of an onstage interview conducted by Margaret Hinksman at the National Film Theater in London. You get the isolated score, experience Roy Budd's original soundtrack music. You get the original theatrical trailer. You get an image gallery on set and production photography a 40-page booklet, and much, much more. I'm not going to keep going, but this is All Region, ABC. The film is from 1973. And you do get the two discs. The first one here is the DVD. And then you get the Blu-ray. And on the inside, you get a reversible cover, which looks really nice. It's just a red and yellow variation of the white and red cover. And then you get the 40-page booklet. I'm not going to flip through that whole thing, but I'll just kind of fan through it. And you get a bunch of write-ups and some stills. And Indicator is hitting the scene hard. And they're really putting out some good stuff. So I'm looking forward to getting my Sinbad box that I've held off looking at any of the unboxings here on YouTube until I get my own. I want to see it for myself. So that is the Stone Killer, and that is number 033 on the indicator spine. Charles Bronson, the Stone Killer, 1973. The next one is the Collector's Series from Vestron Video. This is the Unholy. And this is the Slipcover Edition. I understand that some of the companies that were distributing this title were not releasing the slipcover. I know that Grindhouse Tampa did not have them and there were a couple others but this is number spine 10 in the Vestron video series and this is region A rated R and the film originally came out in 1987. New Orleans, a city with the dark underside of black magic and satanic worship. Two priests have been brutally murdered at St. Agnes Church. Now the unholy reigns, only to be challenged by the purest of mortal souls. That is the unholy, and I'm glad to pick this up and add it to my Vestron video collection. The next one here is the latest release from 88 Films. This is the Oily Maniac from 88 Asia collection spine number 09 and this comes with the slip cover so I'm going to crack this open and we'll take a look inside so here again is the slip cover and that image in the back is reminiscent of the swamp thing 
and there's the back again. Um, I have not seen this film before and I'm looking forward to checking it out. I like to support 88 films as much as I can and I try to pick up all their titles, all their releases, or at least as many as I can. So there you can see that is the image that's on the slipcover right there. And then it does come with a booklet. And 88 Films is easily one of my favorite companies. They're right up there to me with uh, Arrow Video. And they release a lot of these obscure horror titles. The kind of stuff that I love and the stuff that I like to collect. This is a film from 1976. It is Region B. And let's see, for special features, you get the high-def 1080p presentation of the film, a restored HD master and original 235-1 aspect ratio, uncompressed Chinese audio, English subs, a slippery story interview with academic and author Callum Waddle, reverse sleeve featuring original Hong Kong poster art, the forgotten superhero cinema limited edition booklet. Approximate running time, 84 minutes. So you can see there at the image, it's kind of a... Well, you can see that it's a low buck, kind of a Toxic Avenger ripoff monster movie creature feature. That is the Oily Maniac. Very glad to have that in the collection. The next one here is one that I picked up, uh, got in the mail today, and this is the latest edition from Brink Vision. This is Don't Look in the Basement, and this also comes with a slipcover. And Brink Vision has been putting out some really good stuff lately. I do recommend going to check out Brink Vision on their website. This is All Region ABC. And you also get Don't Look in the Basement 2 as a bonus feature here. And then you get a limited edition booklet featuring articles on Don't Look in the Basement from Evil Speak Magazine, Legless Corpse Magazine, and Ultra Violent Magazine. So this is a kind of a drive-in type film from the 80s and it, uh, it all takes place in an insane asylum and I really enjoy those kind of films so I'm gonna crack this one open as well and we'll look inside so there the slipcover is off and here is the cover don't look in the basement and a film I haven't seen before is don't look in the basement too I'm not sure what to expect out of that one don't look in the basement the first one is very low buck but it is very creepy and I do recommend checking it out. I used to watch that back on VHS. I used to rent all of the don't movies, don't look in the basement, don't go in the attic, don't answer the phone, all the don'ts. And this one was pretty good. And there you can see the Blu-ray and it does come with the booklet here. Both films are on one Blu-ray. And this is a very, very nice booklet. And I'm glad to see that Brink Vision is adding slipcovers and booklets to their releases. And they are a very good company and they put out a lot of horror films, a lot of independent films, and uh, I'm very glad to add Don't Look in the Basement to the collection. I might pop this in tonight and check it out. The next one is the three disc limited edition from Blue Underground, and this is the Dario Argento, The Stendhal Syndrome. This is a Blu-ray DVD and CD soundtrack. Comes with a slip cover. You get a bunch of extras here. You get a brand new audio commentary with Troy Haworth, author of So Deadly, So Perverse. You get Three Shades of Asia, new interview with star Asia Argento, Prisoner of Art, new interview with co-writer Franco Farini, Sharp as a Razor, new interview with special makeup artist Franco Cassani. You get a trailer, still galleries, posters, um, and a bunch of other stuff here. I'm not going to go through it all, but this is... A film from, it says 1995, but I'm pretty sure it's older than that. And um, the, it says this, this is the unrated edition, so let's check this out and see what we got. I'm going to have to pause it again so I can crack this open. So we have the slipcover off, and this is a really thick edition. I like these blue underground releases when they have three discs. It's a really fat pack and um, that's the original cover there from the Stendhal Syndrome. I like the new image that they have on the slipcover. 
And the first disc here is the Blu-ray. And you get the DVD. Let's see if I can pull this out without wasting too much of your guys' time. There is the reversible cover. And then here is the 2007 featurettes. I was mistaken. I thought there was a CD soundtrack. You get 2007 featurettes on DVD. And let me put these away. And then we'll flip through the booklet. And it's a pretty decent sized booklet. And as a collector, I always do appreciate when companies go the little extra mile by putting in booklets and reversible covers and slip covers. Ennio Morricone, Dario Argento. That is one ghoulish man. But he was great in his early days. I, I really do hope that he has one more good one in him before he calls it quits. I've said that a million times, but I'm, I'm hoping. The odds are against it happening, but you never know. Hopefully he'll release one more good one. Uh, the next one here is a Vinegar Syndrome DVD, and this is the only DVD in this pickup video. And this is a Bigfoot double feature called In Search of Bigfoot and Cry Wilderness. And I believe these are both kind of shot in documentary style. In Search of Bigfoot is from 1975 and Cry Wilderness is from 1986. And it says they are both scanned in 2K. And In Search of Bigfoot came from 16 millimeter negative and Cry Wilderness came from 35 millimeter negative. And this was released by Vinegar Syndrome in 2014. I think I picked this up for about 10 bucks. But... Uh, I've been kind of in the mood for some Bigfoot films lately, so I wanted to grab this one and add it to the collection. The next one here was a cheapie. I picked this one up on Amazon. I think it was about eight bucks free shipping because I'm an Amazon Prime member, I guess. And all of the Jaws films are about like eight bucks a piece. So I'm gonna pick those up eventually. I have Jaws one and two now. I'm gonna get the others at a different time. But these are fun little cheesy creature feature films. What is there to say about Jaws 2 that hasn't already been said? Everybody's seen them a million times. The next one here is a film from Olive. This is called Victims. Four girls alone in the desert. They all became, they all became his victims. And this is an offshoot of Olive Films called Martini Entertainment. And it says, this film is presented using the best available elements provided by Slasher Video. This is all region ABC. And it says, two deranged killers, four nubile women, do the math. When four women head out in the weekend into the wild to explore rock formations, little do they imagine the horror that awaits when they are stalked by two serial killers. What starts out as innocent fun, camping, skinny dipping, and exploring rocks soon turns into fight for survival in victims and it's a film from 1981 it is 76 minutes long and you do get english subtitles if you choose and this is a brand new release this one just came out last week i believe so let's open it up and check it out so this one was kind of a dud there's really nothing on the inside you get the disc art and then there's kind of a a flyer that shows some of the previous titles that was released by Olive Films. But I'm just glad to have this film on Blu-ray because I don't even think this had a DVD release. Not that I'm aware of anyway. So, And I do like to collect the slashers. So this one looks really cool. It sounds like it's a good movie. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. For bonus features on this one, you get audio commentary with director Jeff Hathcock and slasher videos Jesus Tehran. You get an interview with director Hathcock. You get a photo gallery and a trailer. So that is Victims from Olive. What are they calling it now? They're calling it Martini Entertainment Slasher Video. So check that one out. The last three I got, one is a Scorpion releasing title, which I'll show now, and then the other two are Code Red titles. This one is called Humongous. And this is an upgrade for me because I do have the DVD. And this is a weird movie, a weird kind of a rape movie from 1982. It is unrated, and you get uh, anamorphic widescreen. It is region A. 
and it says a group of teens on a boat find themselves in a fog bound night only to run aground on the rocks of the mysterious dog island right before their boat goes up in flames as they gather on the shoreline one of them goes missing another is critically injured and four go searching for shelter they discover a lone standing house in the middle of nowhere and decide to venture inside when no occupant answers the teens soon ascertain that they are in more danger than they've ever imagined and any hope of timely rescue is unlikely things go from bad to worse when the teens finally realize there's something else out on the island growling in the dark and it ain't no dog and it's hungry from the creators of prom night and the changeling and black moon rising now see the slasher classic and brand new hd master you get um you can watch this in nightmare theater format or play the feature only you get a brand new on-camera interview with star david wallace you get audio commentary with director paul lynch and writer william gray moderated by horror journalist nathaniel thompson original trailer brand new 2016 hd master of the r-rated cut and you can either play it the r-rated cut or the unrated version so that is excellent scorpion did a really really good job I'm going to open this up and show you guys what's on the inside. So there is both the slip cover and the insert cover, which is the newly commissioned art for this film. And then on the inside here on the disc is the original cover that you guys may remember from the VHS days and the DVD release of this film. And there it is again if you choose to flip that cover. So I'm glad to upgrade this one from DVD to Blu-ray, and I'm looking forward to checking that one out. That is humongous. Scorpion releasing big thumbs up on this one. And I strongly recommend picking up humongous. The next one is a Meg Tilly Adam West film called One Dark Night, a shocking tale of horror that takes you beyond fear. And that is a really nice cover. I know this one has been unboxed a hundred times or more by now. Um, this is the All Region ABC, a film from 1982 that is an anamorphic widescreen and it's approximately 90 minutes. And for the special features, I know you guys like to hear about the special features. So you get a brand new 2016 HD Master, audio commentary with director Tom McLaughlin and writer Michael Hawes, the work print version of the film, a brand new audio commentary with director McLaughlin and producer Michael Schroeder. Brand new on-camera interviews with Laughlin, Schroeder, and star E.G. Daly. Makeup person Paul Clemens. Director of photography Hal Trussell. Nancy McLaughlin. Production designer Craig Stearns. And you get an original trailer. And this Blu-ray was produced by none other than Walt Olson from Scorpion Releasing. Brother of Bill Olson from Code Red. And you get the world-famous psychic Raymar is found dead, along with several victims of his bizarre experiments. On the same day his body is interred into a mausoleum, high schooler Julie Wells, played by Meg Tilly, um, agrees to spend the night all alone in the mausoleum as part of the hazing to join the clique, the sisters. Later that night, the sisters secretly return to torment Julie in an attempt to scare her out of her mind, but the girls are not alone. Raymar's experiments continue even after his death on his own body and the dozen resident corpses in various stages of decay so let's crack this one open and see what we got inside so there we have the cover off and if you guys go over to ronin flicks you will find that they have the slip covers available there at least i think they still do it's you know they may be sold out but when these uh these are released you got to grab them right away to get the slip covers uh, I know they go pretty fast. It's always nice to have a slipcover with your additions here. But um, there's the disc art. And then here is the original cover, which is, is very blah. The new cover is by far much better. But I do appreciate that they give you the choice of the original cover plus the newly commissioned cover. And this is a really, really nice addition. Glad to pick up one dark night and I'm glad to support Bill Olson at Code Red and Walt Olson at Scorpion Releasing so you guys are doing a great job keep it up and the last one here for this update video is William Shatner's Kingdom of the Spiders 
a very cheesy drive-in type film that I'm very glad to upgrade to Blu-ray. Uh, this is All Region ABC. The film is from 1977, creature feature film. And it is anamorphic widescreen, approximately 95 minutes running time. And you get a bunch of special features here. You get a 2016 2K HD scan from original Interpositive, brand new audio commentary with star Tiffany Bowling and producer Ego Cantor, brand new on-camera interview with Tiffany Bowling. Uh, you get an in-depth commentary by director John Bud Cardos, producer Igor, Ego Cantor, Spider Wrangler Jim Brockett, DP John Morrell, and hostile producer Scott Spiegel. Little bit about spiders with spider wrangler Jim Brockett, and you get an on camera interview with writer Stephen Lodge, rare behind the scenes footage, and origin original theatrical trailer. So I'm sure by now everybody has seen this film. And this is a fun little, like I said, a creature feature spider film. William Shatner stars as veterinarian Rack Hansen in this 1977 classic creep show about an Arizona town infested with a horde of arachnids that turn on humans whose insecticides have depleted their normal food supply. Also starring Willie Strode, or Woody Strode, I'm sorry, Tiffany Bowling, and Altavis Davis, and directed by John Bud Cardos. Now see this drive-in classic from a brand new HD Master. So let's take a look at the inside and then we'll wrap this video up. So there we have the slip cover off. There is the original cover, Kingdom of the Spiders. And there is another variation of the original cover from some of the original poster artwork. I really like this disc art here. It's probably my favorite of the three. And that was it, guys. That was my small haul for the past two or three weeks I guess oh actually you know what I have one more thing to show I'm gonna do a quick recap of the blu-rays and and the one DVD that I have and then I'm gonna get into the vinyl that I have so here is a quick recap before we get into the vinyl soundtrack I got Jaws 2 a Bigfoot double feature called In Search of Bigfoot and Cry Wilderness Kingdom of the Spiders the Stendhal Syndrome, The Oily Maniac, Humongous. We've got a couple editions here of The Stone Killer. I will be giving one of these away. I'll give away the brand new sealed copy. I got The Unholy, which is number 10 in the Vestron Video Collection, I believe. Is it 10? Yeah, 10 already. Wow. One Dark Night. I'm really looking forward to checking that one out. The one I'm going to be watching tonight is Don't Look in the Basement and Victims. So let's take a look at the vinyl soundtrack now. Okay, so here is the vinyl soundtrack, and this is a long time coming. This was part of the Arrow Video box set of the film Pieces, and this finally came in. They had a little bit of a delay, but any time that Arrow has a delay, it's for a good reason and I don't mind because I know that they put in a lot of effort into their releases so anytime that they have to hold out on a release for a little bit it's for a good reason so this is the soundtrack for the film pieces and it is uh, Arrow, Rec Arrow Records proudly present the original soundtrack to Juan Piquer Simon's gore-drenched slasher from 1982 pieces this classic horror score boasts a compelling selection of nerve-jangling themes drawn from the legendary Cam Library, with compositions by Fabio Frizzi from Zombie 2 and The Beyond, Stelvio Cipriani from Nightmare City, and Carlo Mario Cordillo from Absurd. This limited edition vinyl release of the Pieces soundtrack has been newly remastered from the original quarter-inch analog tapes by James Plotkin and is presented on this 180-gram vinyl housed inside a 350 GSM sleeve. The edition features newly commissioned artwork by Mark Schoenbach and accompanying film notes by Stephen Thrower. And that cover is just exquisite. That's beautiful. And this is a good film. I, this is one of my favorite horror films of all time. 
and it had two very famous slogans or uh, taglines from back on the VHS days and it was pieces it's exactly what you think it is and you don't have to go to Texas for a chainsaw massacre and this is the original motion picture soundtrack and you get 16 tracks two sides and we are going to open this up and take a look at the inside and again I'm sure this has dozens if not hundreds of unboxings here on YouTube but I want to do my own version of it so stay tuned check this out okay so the plastic is off and I like to keep this little advertisement piece that goes on the side this is a gatefold and it does have some liner notes here it has the an image of the chainsaw in the film and I'm not gonna go through this whole thing but this, here's a little write-up from Stephen Thrower music in pieces and it just talks briefly about this soundtrack and then look at this gatefold image that is beautiful really really nice and then it's supposed to be a blood red vinyl they call it so let me pause it and slide that out and we'll take a look at the vinyl and then we will finally wrap this up okay so there is the beautiful wax and it's like a translucent red really beautiful piece here this is really nice it was well worth the wait I'm not sure if they're selling these singly on their website or if you could only get this with the box set when it came out. Um, I'm glad that I waited. I'm glad that I picked this up. And this is a really, really nice addition here. So I'm glad that, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and i um, glad to share this stuff with you guys. Comment down below, let me know what you think. Um, hope you guys are well out there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. And I'm kind of rambling right now again, as I always do at the end of the video. So it's hard to close these out. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I will catch you in the next video. Later.